Okay, no doubt you have been hearing about the possibility anyway of a housing bubble coming our way that can bring a lot of concerns both for sellers and buyers out there. But lucky for us, Charlotte Mabry is back on the show. She, of course, is with the Charlotte Mabry team and you've been talking really for a while now about your own concerns right. that what we've seen can't sustain. Correct. But you say we're not going to have a bubble. I, you know, I don't have the crystal ball, but my best guess is there's not a bubble. There's definitely going to be a slowdown. There already is one. Mm -hmm. And that's actually a good thing. Many mm -hmm. times we think things are not good, but that's actually a good thing. Uh, we have a seller right now that's been on the market about four days and He's like, oh gosh, we don't have offers. We don't Four even days. have multiple offers. And I'm like, we well, got to remember, while we have seen that, that is not normal. That's right. not a normal market. And so I think we're beginning to see what normal is going to be. You know, you are very much embedded in the community. And obviously you're wanting to welcome new people in as they sure. choose to live here. But I think it's fair to say that a concern of yours for a while has been this idea that local people we're not able to be in the running. Being priced out, absolutely. Um, we just have multiple offers still in certain price ranges. Um, you know, I brought some data to show today as well, but there, in some of those price ranges, particularly under 300,000, mm -hmm. it's very difficult to compete. There yeah. are multiple offers, investors buying properties, and so where we used to have maybe 100% of housing stock available mm -hmm. for people to buy, investors have bought apart, big institutional investors have bought apart, people aren't moving out of a part of it. Right. We have people that, you know, if you've got an interest rate of two and three percent and you don't, um, and, and you, to buy again, now you're going to have a five percent interest rate right. and prices went up, why would you move? You did it's bring some visuals <laughs> and I, I'm a visual person, if right. we can show some of those. so yeah, absolutely. Inflation. I mean, right now we're running at about eight and a half percent inflation. And so that is, um, you know, something to think about that, you know, if you spend a hundred dollars today in a week or so, it's probably going to be one oh eight fifty, you know, right. to go up a little bit. So we have to think about that. So inflation does does impact this. And if we look at the next slide there, um, there are you can definitely see where people are finding that with interest rates the light blue line on the bottom down there is showing adjustable rate mortgages. The dark blue line on the top is looking at regular fixed rate mortgages. For the first time in a long time, we're seeing adjustable rate mortgages go up and fixed rate mortgages go down. So as we've hit 5% interest rates, we're finding that people are going, oh, I might take a chance with an adjustable rate mortgage in hopes of getting a lesser interest rate. Mm. So we're, that is not necessarily always something you should do. It can be something you can do, but we're beginning to see that there. Okay. And if you look at house price growth, I mean, look at that both. The lighter on top is new construction. What's underneath the dark line is resale property. And interesting, if you look all the way at the far right side, that light blue line is beginning to come down towards the dark blue line that's still going up. Mm -hmm. And what it, that is showing us is new construction is tough right now, getting supplies, getting all of that. Uh, it's languishing. New construction is languishing. We're beginning to see some price drops in new construction mm. to unload product because many people are walking away from that product. They won't wait on it anymore. Right. So at a time when um, new construction reaches the same price as resale property, that'll be interesting. <laughs> right, <laughs> Because right. why would you buy resale when you go buy new? If you look at house price growth right now, we're on pace right now for 20% gain in this year. That's, in that's crazy. That's insane. Normal is, normal, normal is three to 4%. What? So this, this will make us feel like something is wrong when we slow down. But as we go back to three to four percent appreciation a year, which has traditionally been quote unquote normal, we're going to feel like something's wrong because at the pace of 20 percent, wow. Okay, but does that mean that if you've purchased a home for four hundred thousand dollars, I don't think it's going to go backwards. Okay. It's just it won't keep growing at the same rate. I think okay. that's really hopefully what we can tell people today. And here's one of the reasons why. Housing supply still is very tight. There's only about a month of inventory on the market, and I don't see that changing. So as long as there's demand and no supply, the prices will remain mm -hmm. at least where they are and most likely go up. 
I just think the pace of going up will be slower. Okay. Which is good. I, it's really a good thing. In Chattanooga, I mean, we are seeing such growth in like outlying Absolutely. Hamilton County. Sure. So these home building um, numbers fluctuating, is that a problem for I, us? I think it will be a little bit in that, and it, it's not because builders don't want to build, they can't get product, they can't get the supplies. So the, from the time they start a building to they finish a building, their cost has gone up so dramatically, 50, 60, $70,000 in cost. Mm -hmm. They're attempting to pass that to the consumer who's walking away going, oh, I can't do that. Right. And so uh, that really makes a difference. I have to be careful how I say this because you know sometimes I just, I just talk. I don't yeah. always think. But <laughs> well, you, I have that problem too. you said something about why would you buy a, a resale house when you could buy new. Uh, you, Some you people wouldn't. might think, yeah, but if they're under these kinds of constraints, how do you do quality control right. with a new build? It is difficult. It is difficult. And it, you know, building right now, uh, I, it takes intestinal fortitude to be a builder right now because you just, there, you're, so many things are out of their control. Okay, when it's people difficult. work with you, because you're always very good about really coming on and you try to impart your knowledge to people, but if, if people work with you and your team, do you, is it ever a long process? I mean, do they come to you in the month of June Absolutely. to say, we really want this specific kind of thing? Right, and you know, that is happening even at a longer time frame today, because there is fewer, there are fewer, excuse me, fewer homes on the market. And so it takes longer to find that specific thing. You know, we think of a triangle, at the top of the triangle is location, one side of the triangle is price, and one side of the triangle is features or amenities in a house. In today's market, you get two but you don't get all three. If you want a certain location and you only want to spend a certain amount of money, you can't be too picky about the house itself. Mm -hmm. If you want a specific house and you only want to spend so much money for it, no problem, you can't be picky about the location. Mm -hmm. So those are some things to talk about. You know, on the commercial side of things too, apartment growth has been amazing. Uh, apartment investing is the new investing. And so if you've noticed driving around Chattanooga and North Georgia, all the new apartments, here's a reason why. And if you look at, um, excuse me, rental rates, what renters are paying for rent, that is skyrocketing as well. And so you're saying, I gotta let you run, but with the yeah. apartment side of things, if there's an apartment building going up, you can potentially purchase one of those apartments to then rent Well, on investor, own? not the actual apartment itself. I'm talking okay. about the apartment complex, complex. as a whole. Got it, got that it. That is for institutional investors, the new mm -hmm. candy is that. And so you see those going up everywhere and consequently, a rental rates, what you pay in rent yeah. going up and up and up. It's always so interesting to talk to you, Charlotte. Uh, thank well, you. Thank you for the opportunity. If you are in the market, whether to buy or to sell, and you would like to get in touch with her team, they would love to hear from you. 593-5588 is the phone number. Online at charlottemabryteam.com. Two out of three ain't so bad. Two out of three ain't so bad in today's market, that's for sure.